Hi there. I am going to demonstrate today how to find some people for a shard chat. A shard chat is a kind of little mini guild of people, if you like, who are cooperating so that everyone possible can get into the first place spot during the day. Um, people in different time zones have different payouts. Everyone's payout is at 6 p.m. in their time zone for arena and 7 p.m. for ships. So in my shard chat, for instance, I am the only one in my payout time and there are um, people before me and after me at um, my time would be uh, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and then one after me at 7 p.m. So the folks before me, I try and help move people out of the way, and the people, oops, um, and <clears throat> the person after me, um, sometimes I might move my mods off for them, or um, just, you know, make sure that I'm not hitting them afterwards uh, when they're in first place. So uh, a friend of mine has given this to me and this is his kind of top 12 people. You can see there's, <coughs> pardon me, there's a couple people on his first page in that guild that I'm not gonna try and pronounce. Um, I think it's a German guild. And then there's also number four Sith Happens and number seven Sith Happens. So he's got a couple of um, double guilds on here, which makes me think that people have already tried to contact each other and um, kind of recruited uh, them to each other's guilds. It would be very rare for, um, you know, maybe Sith Happens, but for this other uh, German guild to just accidentally be on the same server together. They probably have uh, have. Uh, contact reached out to each other and um, and already are cooperating with each other. Uh, this server is quite old. It's a December 2015 server, so we're going to hope that there's not already a shard chat um, in place that doesn't want any more members. Um, it's possible, but uh, we don't know yet. For newer servers in uh, like you know, September 2016 and on, it would be pretty rare, I think, at this point to have a shard chat. So it's great to be able to get going on it and um, be the person organizing it uh, because um, then it's, you know, it's it's not, you, you don't have ownership of it like you would as a leader in a guild. But, um, you know, people are grateful that you've uh, reached out and done all the work to find them all. So let's try and find number one here. Uh, in first place, number 32, Welt Rum Paratin. So what I've gone is I've searched uh, those two names and put the um, little tag Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which is going to bring up, if they are listed, their Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, .gg profile. And you can see we found it here. If we go back, there's going to be some names that are really kind of hard to find. Um, oh, look, and there's two rogues as well. I just saw that. Uh, <clears throat> I would get like the, if a if a if a username is really common. There's not any super common ones on here, but like Mole Liza's obviously that's the default name for um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. If you don't put a handle, then that's your default name. Those are really hard to find if the guilds are small and um, if they aren't connected to a larger alliance. So here we go, we found number 32's profile. And there he or she is. Arena Knight rank number one, so this is very, very likely this person. And we're just gonna click on the guild name here at the top. And right under the guild name, <clears throat> actually, let's go back here. So, oh, look, right there. So there's a new feature on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, .gg where they tell you what, you can list what your contact information is. So on mine, I have Line, Discord, um, uh, another app that looks like a paper airplane. I can't remember what it's like what it's called, but it's good for people who are in Eastern Europe because uh, they can't be online. Line's not available there. 
Um, and look, number 32 has uh, a listing. So we can go to the guild, though, and here's uh, all of the people. It doesn't look like a ton. Maybe about 30 are listed. If I couldn't find number 32, oh, look, he's the, he's the big shooter in his guild. Um, if I couldn't find number 32, um, <clears throat> but I could find the guild, um, say it was Mole Eliza and they didn't have any contact information, I would sort by collection score or go to gear overview and sort by... Um, G11 tunes because you're going to get the strongest players um, and the most active players um, often, and then uh, and then take those names and go search the forum. So I might take the kind of strangest name, maybe this Hugo Humi or um, you know number 32 is pretty unique or a Tyrius and um, and then go and search that on the Star Wars like the the actual EA forum for the game. So I think that's probably good. Maybe I'll do, um, I guess just what I wanted to say as well is when you are, if you are looking to get into an arena chat or a shard chat, <clears throat> you, if there's an established chat already, what you kind of have to do is bother them a little bit because often people just get into first place for their first time and then they're like, this is great. And now I can cooperate with this chat that's already happening. Maybe, you know, it's happening in your, in your shard already there, unless you don't share a payout time with anyone, they might not want to let you in. You know, these guys have been on here for maybe a year or more and um, they've kind of established their system. And just because you get into first place once doesn't mean that you, um, necessarily deserve to be there every day. Uh, our charge ad doesn't work like that. I'm really happy to find members and try and get as many of us into first place every day. So it's not to say that all chats are going to be like that, but, um, you know, I see that all the time on forums, people complaining about, you know, this guy got into ninth place or fifth place and now he's asking to be in our shard chat. How dare they? <clears throat> so sometimes you just have to annoy them a little bit spend your crystal refreshes, get up into first, get up into top 10, um, be really active in the arena for uh, a week or two and, and then, and then reach out and, uh, and try and find some, some people and, uh, you might have more luck that way. Um, those are my suggestions. Uh, there we go.